let's make a pipe right click primitive cube uh, 3 to bin polygon select a face B to bevel shift A to uh, look through it um, we could uh, use R W and let's move it out it'll look a bit nicer on the top we can go B also I forgot to do this shift click anywhere to redo a bevel that's this is the one often people forgot uh, B bevel polygon bevel um, R E to rotate and B to extrude R to scale 5 to go back in object mode you can go tab to, to check it um, we could uh, add a bevel to make it sharper so L and uh, here too B you don't have to move anything just Q so basically that's like an add loop it added a new face everywhere so if you go 5 tab now you see it's sharper here you could do more things with it you could go one to go in point middle click look you could scale this inward a bit uh, make it look more interesting you could add a line you could uh, do a lot of things um, like this you could scale them together if you wanted uh, move it up but that's basically it for the pipe if you want to 3d print then we have to model a different pipe so let's delete it will be primitive cube shift a uh, the beginning is roughly the same 3 B shift click move it down Q uh, then here inside we can go B like that shift a now we can go Q to drop the, the bevel now this will be a rectangle so we can squash it a little bit uh, like this you could use those two uh, W could be way smaller actually and here is a little trick uh, I could move it forward first of all it would look better and it will make my life easier on the back when it's time to uh, connect it or bridge it move it down a bit um, so now you see I can actually see it so I select this face B scale it move it down like this shift A scale it a bit more like that move it up just eyeball it and then do another B and that one should be s roughly the same size as the the other side Q let's select the other side shift click and we can go bridge make sure segment is at zero click anywhere to bridge Q now it looks weird because we need to move this L uh, sorry wrong one um, we need to move this forward so W Voila, Q. Now we could do bevel, W, R, E, bevel. Okay. Uh, actually, I could have left this on, then I could select this, shift. B to make it harder, like uh, to add a, a line. Deselect five to go. Oops, sorry. Five, not not F five. Uh, tab. So now we can see this one. You could actually three uh, D print in stainless steel at Shapeways and use it. Uh, now to three D print, we need to go three in polygon, Shift D, SDS a few times. I would do at least three if it's not four. Yeah, I would go four. I think. Yeah just to make sure it's clean and uh, 5 to exit the polygon and any mesh any layer item 
has a display component. So if you go add dimension, you can see that it's around three meter because we started uh, with a cube who was one square meter, size of a car. So I could go, I could remove the dimension. I don't need to see it anymore. And I can go snap and precision, absolute scaling. And here you can put a six inch long uniform scale. And now you've got a six inch long pipe. And to send it to Shapeways, it's very simple. Uh, file, selected, and you go File, Export As, and you save it as an STL, Stereo lithogra Lithography. That's it.